Hey what's up guys this is Pace and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install stock room in any OnePlus 7 series. So before proceed if you haven't subscribed subscribe us and also hit the bell icon to get notification on all of future videos. Now if you done that let's get started. So here you can see that the device I'm using is OnePlus 7 and the method I'm going to show you uh, will going to work on all the OnePlus 7 series out there. So in this video I'm going to install the stock room with the help of TWRP recovery. Now first of all you have to boot your device in fast boot mode. To boot your device in fast boot mode you have to press volume down plus volume up plus power button together and hold this button for few seconds and your device will boot into fast boot mode. Once your device is in the fast boot mode you have to connect your device with your PC by USB cable. Now leave your device connected to your PC. Then go to this link and from here you can download stock room of your device. Now from here you can download your room. I'm gonna uh, download OnePlus 7 ROM. You can also download official or build beta version, whatever you want. So here you can see that I have already downloaded the ROM. Make sure after downloading ROM, you have to rename it. Cause there is a .jar extension at the end. You just have to remove the, this .jar extension from the end. Make sure don't remove .jdip extension from the end. Now before proceed, you have to download all these files. You have to download TWRP image to boot your device in TWRP recovery. If you want to root your device and install TWRP recovery, then also download TWRP installer and magic zip file. If you don't want to root your device, then just skip this step. Now before proceed, install ADV driver on your system if already not installed. Uh, I'll put the link of the ADV driver in the description so you can download ADV driver and install it on your system. Once you have ADV driver installed on your device, you can just open a command from, from the address bar and boot your device into TWRP recovery. So let's get started. Now first of all you have to open command from, from your address bar in the same directory where your uh, TWRP image is. Now here first of all you have to type fastboot space devices. You will get some random string followed by fastboot. Uh, it means your device is connected successfully. Next you have to type fastboot space oem space unlock. It will unlock the bootloader of your device if already not unlocked. In my case it is already unlocked. So next just type uh, fastboot space boot space twrp.img. It will boot your device into twrp recovery. Make sure you have downloaded the correct twrp image for your device. There is different twrp device for the different devices. So if you are using oneplus 7. Uh, T then your TWRP image will be different from the OnePlus 7. So make sure you download the correct TWRP image and boot it on your device. So here you can see that uh, TWRP is booted in our mobile. So once you're done with that, just allow for the modification. Uh, first of all, you have to go to wipe then click on format data and just type yes. This is very important because if you have any kind of error like system uh, error 0 or internet storage is not showing up or internet storage, storage is 0 MB or something like that then just uh, do the format data. You don't need to wipe anything else and do not wipe anything else. So you, all you need to do is just need to go to wipe and format data. You no need to do anything else. It will fix some error or some encryption in your device if there. So you just need to uh, do format data, nothing else. So once you're done with that, uh, just keep your device connected to your PC and here you can access the internal storage of your device. And now here you have to paste all these files. Uh, Magisk and TWRP installer is optional. If you want to install TWRP permanently, then uh, you can copy this TWRP installer file in your internal storage. Or if you also want to root your device, then you can copy this Magisk zip file on your internal storage. Otherwise, you need to copy this TWRP uh, files and magic file in your internal storage. So all you need to just copy the ROM file in your internal storage. Everything is uh, optional. Uh, there is a dedicated video for that if you want to root your device or install TWRP on your device. Installing TWRP recovery is a little bit of a tricky process so I created this dedicated video. You can go to the description and watch this video. So now let's install the ROM in our device. So first of all you have to go to install. Then from here you have to select your ROM file. Just select your ROM file then swap this button from left to right. It will start installing ROM in your device. This may take up to 5 minutes so wait until it's done. Now 
Now once it's done, you can just click on Reboot System. And if you want to install TWRP Recovery on your device or if you want to root your device, you can watch that separate video from the description. But for now, you can just reboot system. Now you have to click on reboot system. It will reboot your system and you have to set up your device once your device is rebooted. Now don't try to lock the bootloader of your device. If you try to lock the bootloader of your device, you may be stuck on boot loop. So don't try to lock the bootloader. Now once your device is rebooted and once you set up everything, you can always receive OT updates. Unlock bootloader won't affect your OTS. So that's it. Now you can set up your device and start using it like your factory device. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to do subscribe and also hit the bell icon to get notified about all of your videos. This is the page signing out. Meet you soon in next video.